ECDL Advanced Word Lesson 63 Form Field Options After a form field has been created, various options can be set to define the operation of the field using form field options. For a drop-down form field, for example, the choices given within the field have to be supplied, the various options. For a text form field, the options include the type and format of entered data. We're going to be using the document from the previous lesson, so keep the cursor in the field that we've created, which is this form field here, and then click the Properties button. It recognises this is a drop-down form field, and now we're going to put in four different options. The first one is Andrew Simpson. Then press Add to add it to the available options. Next, Susan Peters. Add. Next, Ishmael Rampuri. And finally, Gita Patel. Then click OK to close the dialog box. Next, click after From, press Tab, so again with 3 centimeters in. And here we're going to put in a text form field. Click after From, Press tab, so again with 3 centimeters in, because of the tab that was set. Click on Legacy Tools, and select a text form field. If we set the properties, for the default text, set it as your name. So that will remain, it won't change and then click OK. Press Tab after Date and create another text form field. Click Properties to define the options. For Type, select Current Date and for the Date Format, select this one, uh, little d's, capital M's and little y's and then press OK. Click after Subject, Tab, and then create another text form field. We're not going to put anything in this one. Next, click after Urgent, press Tab, click on Legacy Tools. This time we're going to select a checkbox, which is now in. Finally, Click after Message, and on the next line, so I'm pressing Enter, we want to put another text field. For this field, we're going to add Help Text. So, click Properties. At the bottom of the dialog box on the left-hand side, you'll see Add Help Text. Select that. There'll be two tabs, Status Bar and Help Key F1. Let's go for the Status Bar, and select Type Your Own, and put in the sentence, please keep your message brief and to the point. Full stop. We're also going to look at the help key F1 tab. If we select this, click type your own, and then don't ramble on for the message. Then press OK, and OK again. If we press Alt F9, we'll be able to see the field codes. And then selecting Alt F9 will revert back to the field content. Unfortunately, with the software that I'm using right now, it's not picking up the Alt F9s because of the recording software that's being used. 
but try it out. If you select Alt F9, it'll view the field codes, and if you press Alt F9 again, it will revert to the field content. Okay, if you leave the document open for the next lesson, where we'll be looking at how to protect these. Okay, look forward to seeing you next time.